Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Superb AI Academy. My name is Tyler McKean, and today, in today's video, we'll be discussing how to upload data into the Superb AI suite and assigning that data to your projects. So within the Superb AI suite, we actually have a few different ways you can upload data. We know that everyone has their own preferences when it comes to uploading and storing data, depending on where their data is stored. So we wanted to include several options to make it as easy as possible. As an admin, you have the option to drag and drop files directly, um, use the cloud upload integration, URL upload, as well as a CLI SDK upload, which we'll talk about in detail in today's video. So to get started, it's worth noting that you can upload data directly into a project or also into the data tab and then assign that data to a project later. For today's video, we're going to be uploading data directly into this project. So for our first option, we're going to look at local storage upload. So we're gonna select, select upload data in the top left corner. We're gonna click file. And then here we can drag and drop um, our files. So I'm going to grab those real quickly. And you can see I'm now dragging three images over here. And we can see that we have three images. I'm going to select next and I'm going to create a data set for them. So Academy Animal Demo and create data set and we can click done and upload. You'll see in the bottom right, we have a status bar showing that our upload is now in progress. And then when we look at our labels list, we can now see that these labels are um, uploaded successfully. So here we are, and now we have our three images. Another common way to upload data to the Superb AI suite is to utilize our native cloud integrations. So oftentimes teams will have uh, the majority of their data, if not all of their data, located in an Amazon S3 or Google Cloud storage bucket. And Superb AI suite provides a native integration to those services and allows you to directly upload data from there. So the actual steps to set up the integration are covered in our documentation as well as a uh, Academy video dedicated to the cloud storage setup. In today's video, we're just going to be assuming that that bucket is correctly set up and showing you how to upload data from there. So going back to our upload data button, we just simply have to select cloud. We're going to be doing images today, select next. And in today's demo, we're going to be using an Amazon S3 integration. All we have to do is select which integration we want. We have the ability to connect and integrate with multiple buckets and click next. And then we just have to find which table, or sorry, which folder within the bucket that we want to upload. So we're gonna select upload test. I'm gonna select next. Um, on this panel four here, we can select the data storage method. So with Superb AI storage, that means that the data is moved over to Superb AI servers. On your own storage, that means that the data never leaves your server. So it's a read-only integration. Um, and your data, you know, for security reasons, never ever leaves your cloud storage. So we're going to select next. And then as we do before, we select our data set. So we're going to say cloud test sample. And we're going to create. And then as our final step, we're going to assign it to our project. So for today's, we're going to assign it to sample cloud. Click done. And now we have su successfully uh, told the system that we want to pull data from this particular Amazon bucket. You'll see that it says upload has started in the background. If we move over to, over to our labels list, we now have uh, four images within this that are being pulled from Amazon S3. All right, so another method to upload your data is going to be using our URL upload. So if we click upload, we can see that we have a method to um, use URLs of images if you're storing them uh, where they're accessible via URL, or you can also utilize a CSV template to upload uh, a, a large set of URLs at once. So we can click URL here, and we can see, you know, we have the option to enter URLs manually, um, but for today's video, we're going to be using a CSV. So we just click our CSV next, and then we can um, drag and drop our relevant CSV. You can see that, that the CSV template is very, very simple. So here it is. Um, you can see that below we have our data key and our URL where that image is stored. So I'm going to select next. Again, I'm assign it to a data set. We're going to just say Academy URL and create 
create Academy URL, and then we click upload. And now that um, upload mechanism is now uploading two files via URL. And so now we can see that these are uploaded with their relevant uh, data key that we highlighted in the CSV as well as the image itself. All right, and for our fourth upload mechanism, we can also leverage the superb AI CLI or command line interface to upload, uh, whether you, you know, have access to a remote or local server where you have all your images or, or frames located, um, this is a very efficient and effective way to upload uh, data either you know, as a one-time job or as a periodic job. So within the upload button, you can see the, if we click on CLI, um, we have some initial instructions on how to install the CLI. Um, and then, then on the next um, section, we'll see the access key. You do have to configure your CLI um, to be routed to your relevant uh, tenant within this Superb AI suite using the API access key. You can find more information about that in our documentation, as well as the Superb CLI SDK Academy video. Um, for today's purpose, we're going to assume that the CLI is correctly configured to the to the uh, tenant that you want. And we can see here that we have our terminal open. Um, within this location, you can see that we have three images, uh, animal, JPEG, greenfinch, JPEG, red fox, JPEG. All we have to do is simply uh, type SPV upload data set. And then we just um, input our project name, which is animals. And then we say, our data set name, which is going to be animals CLI. And it's gonna ask us, it says, okay, we've found three pieces of data. Do you wanna upload them to this project? And we say, yes. So now you can see we have successfully uploaded all three uh, with zero errors. And if we pivot back to our screen, we can now see that the label list contains those three images under the animal CLI data set. It is worth noting that oftentimes CLI upload is the uh, fastest and most effective way for technical teams to upload large amounts of data if they're not using the cloud integration. And there you have it. Once you have your data uploaded and assigned to your project, you can move into your project and begin working. Give it a shot and I'll see you next time.